So, a fun fact about me is that I like watching clips from shows on YouTube. I used to watch Glee back in the day, and I stopped watching it after a certain point. I can't really remember when. But I had no idea that Becky brought a gun to school, and then it dropped and went off twice. And it looked like it nearly shot Sue. So that was interesting. How's that for an intro? Thank you for coming back to Geeky Girls Night In. I'm Leslie and I'm your host. I hope you are doing well. I am in the bowels of hell. Thank you for asking. Do you want to know why? Well, I don't care because I'm going to tell you. So it's springtime here in Indiana. And with that comes the worst allergies that I've ever had in my life. And it seems like it's getting worse and worse every single day. Um, two years ago, I went to the doctor, I got allergy tested, I'm pretty much allergic to everything, um, all the trees in Indiana, um, I had some sort of reaction to, the only thing I didn't have a reaction to was pigs, of all things, so right now I'm feverish, feverishly trying not to scratch my eye, uh, and, um, sneezing all over the place, it's great. This is even with uh, allergy pets, so can't get no better than this. So let's get it started. Uh, today, I am drinking plain old H2O. Um, this is going to sound dumb, but I feel like I'm flushing stuff away when I drink water and, and have these allergies. Is it working? Probably not. But it's psychosomatic, so hey, what can you do? What are you drinking? Let us know on Twitter at Geeky Girls and I. So, happy End Games Week! Um, super excited to go see End Games on Friday. By the time you guys listen to this, I believe Quinzel will have seen it already. So I look forward to her synopsis on the blog, and that's GeekyGirlGuide.com. Um, I am going with Emily, who has been on the podcast before, and a friend of hers uh, named Gina on Friday, I do believe. So I, I can't wait. We're, we're going to dinner first, I believe, and then we're ready to cry buckets. Though with my allergies in my eye, I'm already crying. So there, there's that. It's constantly weeping and running, and it's nasty, and it's swollen and gross and if you see me don't make fun of me i'm very sensitive about my eye in book news um i don't know if you guys know this or not but i am on goodreads.com last year i believe i mentioned on the podcast that i had a goal to read 75 books and i went actually over that mark so this year i bumped it up to 100 now I appreciate Goodreads uh, counter that lets you know, you know, you need to read XYZ monthly to hit your goal, but I kind of don't read like that. Like, there'll be some months where I can't get a book in. I don't have time. So right now, the Goodreads counter is saying I am about a nine books behind, but I'm going on vacation here shortly, and... I will catch up with that, so no problems there. I just finished reading a book called Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens, and it is it was such a cute read, and I think you guys would enjoy it. It's about a young girl, and you know she's poor, and they live in these marshes in North Carolina, her and her family. And basically everybody deserts her and she learns how to scrabble herself it it's a good read you learn about her you see about you know how people treat people that they think are different and how some people tend how some people can overcome that so you may want to check that out um, another book I read is the storyteller secret by Sergio Badani I could be saying that wrong, and I'm sorry if I am. Um, this resonated with me. Um, 
it's about a woman and in the beginning you find out that she is on her third miscarriage and she just had miscarriage number three and it, it's dealing with that and it's dealing with her mother and her mother's past so very good read I enjoyed it I was flipping the pages feverishly trying to figure out what was going to happen and but once you get to a certain point in the book you kind of figure out what's going to happen so I recommend that and also um I talked about this I believe on the Geeky Girl Guide Facebook page about how all I want to do is bake bread and read Amish romance novels so yeah Amish romance novels have been my jam as of late they are they're good I <laughs> um I remember talking with Rebecca and we made light of the fact that I skip over the sex parts in fan fiction I just like I'll either skim them or I'll, I'll scroll past them completely and for those of you that don't know in fan fiction the sex parts are called a lemon so I skip over the lemons and basically Amish romance is like fan fiction for me without having to skip over the sex parts because there are no sex parts and there's a lot of eating and crafts and that's all I really want to do with my life is eat and crap so hey works for me the romance novels that I've been reading have all been by Marta Perry and she lived in Pennsylvania Dutch company Pennsylvania Dutch County I guess counties she lived in the Pennsylvania Dutch area basically and she pulls from that experience to write these books and I just I absolutely adore them. I picked up a bunch for vacation and I am ready to go. Um, the you can pick up like the first three books. It's called At Home in Pleasant Valley. That's three books in one. And so you can check that out. Um, I, I really dig them. And speaking of books, I was talking with Quinzel and I came up with an idea for an article that I'm kind of cultivating now. And it talks about the places that I want to visit based on books that I have read. So with that, my question to you is, what is a place that has captured you in a book so thoroughly that you've wanted to go there or you have been there because of book? Let me know on Twitter. In video game news, Mortal Kombat is out and I cannot wait to buy it. I have to kind of hold off because I've been saving my coins for this trip to buy the essentials that I need. But as soon as I come back, it will be mine. Have any of you guys played it yet? Uh, I think I've explained on the podcast before. I've played almost every single Mortal Kombat that has come out. I want it to be Melina for Halloween when I was younger, was not allowed to, and I have nowhere to go now for Halloween, so even though I could be Melina, I just, I don't really have anywhere to wear that outfit to. Or how would I put teeth in the side of my cheeks? Though I'm pretty sure a cosplayer could help me figure that out. And speaking of cosplayers, make sure you go on the blog. Quinzel wrote an article titled, cosplayer combos supporting strong friends the way that they support you and it's a really good read and she talks to a fellow cosplayer so make sure you check that out there'll be a link in the show notes this episode is going to be incredibly short because I don't really have a lot to talk about (laughs) it has been a long week getting prepared for my trip getting prepared for uh, Avengers Endgame. I'm just ready. I'm ready to do things. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to make things happen. What about you? What are you looking forward to this week or next week? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's it for this episode and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Geeky Girls Night In is brought to you by me, Leslie. You can find me on Twitter at Geeky Girls NI, on Facebook at Geeky Girls Night In, or in your backyard, 
strumming dulcet tones on a mandolin, serenading you sweetly. Feel free to shoot me a message if you have something geeky going on that you want announced on the show. You can find written musings by me, Quinzel, or Melissa at geekygirlguide.com. Like the show? Would you like to buy me a cup of coffee? Consider donating to my coffee. That's ko-fi.com forward slash geekygirlsni. Want to send me or the other girls some snail mail? You can reach us at P.O. Box 90232, Indianapolis, Indiana, 46290. Feel free to leave a review on iTunes or on the Facebook page. I'll read new reviews, good or bad, on the show. Music is by Makai Beats. Until next time, Aruba, Jamaica, both exist. And of course, we want to take you there. This whole Kokomo situation is so maddening. Did you guys know that Kokomo in the song does not exist? It's based on an imaginary island. And if you go on my Twitter account, you'll have you'll see somebody arguing with me that some other beach was that's what they were talking about. But I read the page. That island or whatever was named based on the song, not vice versa. I am still so angry about this. And it's the most ridiculous rant I've ever had in my entire life. I know this and I'm okay with that. You will just have to deal. <laughs>